Okay, I figured I'd explain this stuff. So the upstairs door, that's self-explanatory. Just need to add, I forget if it's a 32 or what we need. Just replacing that door. Um, the front uh, wood closet door, that's for this right here. I think we put new pressure treated two by fours there and then the wood planks, kind of like what I was drawing here. It'd be behind it would be like two by fours, probably one across the top. And then just the two by sixes deck boards right there. I don't even know if we need a handle, just a little, um, what do they call it? A hasp latch where I could put the lock on it and then I could just use that to open and close it. Um, the other thing is this looks really shitty right here. These things like to the right of it are two electric meters and some other box and they're all rusted and I keep painting them. They look awful. This looks kind of shitty too. It doesn't have good curb appeal. So I'm thinking of building an L-shaped wall like there. It comes out roughly two feet and then goes and covers it this way. And it will be open coming, I guess, from this direction. And this way, if it needs to be serviced or whatever, or if I just want to throw shit behind there. And then to support it, we'll probably just have two two by fours sitting on the deck board, just kind of giving it extra support. And they'll be hidden anyway. So that's what the L-shaped wall is. Roughly five feet if it's covering those meters, eight feet tall, so it's going to go, you know, above it. I don't know if it's eight feet or if we need to measure. I don't know. Maybe it's 10 feet high. Um, and that's roughly what we need in materials. Um, and then the box that you guys built, yeah, the hinges are all rusted out. I guess we should just replace them since we have to cut, the, we have to remove them in order to get the uh, hasp latch off of it because that lock's all messed up. Um... And then under this I-beam here, there's aluminum and it's all rusted out. I want to pull that out and just replace it with a new piece. Maybe when we pull it out, if, if the I-beam looks good and it doesn't look sloppy, maybe we just paint the I-beam white. But if not, we put the aluminum under it. Uh, the dining room light upstairs for the dining room table. And then that's self-explanatory.